Okay, you ready, buddy? You were born ready. <laughs> okay. What's up, YouTube? Uh, it's J-Man and the Jokester, and today we're doing our special segment, sub-episode, uh, J-Man Mysteries, which is all about the unknown and the unexplained, like crisp, crisp, crisp it's, cryptids, uh, ghosts, weird nature, anything in science uh, can't explain. There's no definitive answer to. And uh, J-Man, I know that you wanted to show everyone uh, the special friendship gem that we have on J-Man Mysteries. This is, this is, uh, this, we found this in the dog park, right? Yeah, and uh, get close. This is the special friendship gem that marks our friendship. And, uh, you know, without this, we'd be, what, we might be enemies, right? Right. That's right. So we can never lose the friendship gem. And uh, with what? What's the subject of J-Man mysteries today, J-Man? Frogman. That's right. The Loveland Frogman, or sometimes known as the Loveland Frog. He's a uh, four foot or five foot tall frog humanoid. Uh, spotted in Loveland, Ohio. And Loveland, Ohio is a suburb of Cincinnati, I think. It's considered... Have you, have you ever been to Cincinnati, J-Man? Me either. Well, what, what better reason do you need to visit than the, trying to spot the Loveland frog? And uh, I think the sightings are said to have uh, started in the 1950s. And the, the Loveland frog would appear uh, to, to weary travelers, I think. Um, there's businessmen, traveling salespersons on the road, businessmen and businesswomen. Um, and they would see the, the, the Loveland Frog. And one of his most distinguishing features uh, is his large butt, right? Often you'll see drawings or photographs of the Loveland Frog, and he just has an, a large butt. But we also can't forget that he, what, he, has, a, uh, he has a magic wand, right? Yeah, he has a magic wand. If you, if you see, if you stare at his butt too long, he'll wave his magic wand. I, I guess he'll just wave it to, to, if you're staring at any part of him too long. <coughs> so, the Loveland Frog, he's not really a, not one of the better known cryptids, is he, Jay? He's not up there with Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster, right? He's not quite as popular. But, um, in 1972, a police officer by the name of Ray Shockey claimed to have shot the Loveland Frog. <laughs> and then later, many years later, uh, that was revealed to be a hoax and that Officer Ray Shockey had actually shot an iguana. Uh, there was an iguana wandering around that he shot and he said it was not actually the Loveland Frog. Um, which is great because then in, uh, well I mean it's not, it wasn't great for the iguana obviously. It was great for the Loveland Frog um, to know that he wasn't actually dead, that he had not been murdered. Uh, and in 2016, there were reports that some teenagers who were playing Pokemon Go encountered the Loveland Frog. But uh, they were playing Pokemon Go like so many people were in 2016. I know, shocking, right? Were you shocked? Was that a shock face? Or maybe the Loveland Frog was playing Pokemon Go. Do you think the Loveland Frog plays video games? Not. <laughs> probably not. Yeah, he's a magical being from another dimension. He probably doesn't need video games. He has a magic wand. You got so his his butt his, <laughs> his giant butt 
well, yeah, we'll have um, we'll have Mama who edits these uh, videos and does an excellent job. She'll we'll have her put a video of you know, a photo of the Loveland of Rogs enormous hindquarters for all of you to see. It's quite something. <laughs> wow. So that's that's uh, cool. <laughs> my be go on earth but about ghosts in space ghosts in space 